Here, I'll show you my quick commute to work. See that building? That's work. Ooh, got some frost. Check it out. virtual wind tunnel here, so pretty much any snow, we'll get some snow on top of the cars across the street, any snow that comes through, um, it's not substantial, it blows. <laughs> oh, it's pretty cold out, it's 33 degrees, oh, it's not too shabby. Doing some of my old stuff, I'm doing some vinyl plotting, it's kind of fun. We cut all of our stickers here in house, at somewhere I work, Pennant Motors. <laughs> Um, most companies order their lot stickers. Now, what's cool about this is being I have a vinyl plotter in house here that the company has, I can plot out oh, whatever I want. I can make the car say whatever. I can say, make your neighbors jealous. I can put that on the car <laughs> as a, like a tagline, as a, as a benefit. Um, we have a 08 Mercedes that I actually was making a joke that I should do that on. Uh, but let me just peel off these couple and I'll show you. I have a Volvo XC90 that we're going to be putting price on here, which is $11,995. And I have a couple of Volvos for $49.95 off. I would say a few. So I'm doing this. And now what I'll do is I'll set this up so you guys can see how it works. Basically CNC, the dot EPS file uses vector outlines. It also sounds like a dial up modem. While I was doing this, someone just, uh, a car just stalled out out front looking at a car. So I'm gonna go jump them and see if I can sell them a car. See that? Alright, I'm back. You see all this stuff kind of flooding out. Oh, it's cold outside. Well, I went out there, they had like a 96 caravan, it was like rusted out all over the place. The rust around here is insane. Like the rear quarter panel was rusted into the door. And uh, into the sliding door. <laughs> like, I don't know how the sliding door worked. Let's show how I'm plotting this out while I was talking. A couple things there. It says T5 Turbo. Quick all-wheel drive. If anyone's ever done vinyl, and some of my friends who actually worked with me at uh, River of Signs, and Jeremy, Junior, Josh. I'll leave a couple other ones that uh, around. Some people I work with now work at Red Rose Science. How about that? So, I kind of know like how the, the vinyl game goes. Just kind of push the, the letter down that you're working on while you're going. Now, yeah, I know someone will probably critique the. Uh, the method of how you're doing this. Um, sometimes the blades don't, I mean this isn't supposed to be, I mean these are temporary stickers so I'm not really going on blades that depth. Sometimes, um, you know, plots deeper than others. I have it marked on the plotter, but I'm also not trying to do like an informative video, but at least show you a little bit about what I do, because it's not, uh, I sell cars, but I do other stuff too. And this is actually kind of hobby stuff, because you know, if I want to print out a you know, funny decal to put on a car or 
my own car or whatnot, um, I can anytime I want, which is kind of cool. And let's get this W, this W, this George W. Up oh, there it goes. And okay, okay. Right, let me try to be the man on this real quick. Edition. Yeah, I did that. Uh, the clump of vinyl mess. And then, yeah, I'll show you guys how to mask it. And masking is how you get it down. Now, I have, six, I have 24 inch, I have 15 inch vinyl on a 12 inch mask, or a 10 inch mask. So it will, I will have a seam here. I'll show you guys how. I, Lay it down on the surface, come across, and cut it, and then take a squeegee. I go over it, and now I gotta get the top half. I have one line, two men in it. But I do make the tape's actually very cheap, but I make a very cost efficient savings of the vinyl. And I believe we've seen savings from ordering stickers for it. You know? okay. I think I'm, uh, it's being valuable at work is the most important thing. You know? I can make stickers and could also have things so I can kind of do what I want. Or if we have a special promotion and we want to run on a car, I can put it out of there instantly. Now you saw how everything was jammed up together. Now I'm going to go in and cut down the others. So the ones at the top are all-wheel drive. Now being we live in Erie, uh, all-wheel drive is pretty much on every car. So I just cut a lot of those. All-wheel drive. All-wheel drive. And warranty. All of our cars, as long as we have under 200,000 miles, come with a warranty. Now I did do pretty well the other day selling that. 317,655 mile stock. And I uh, actually went to an older lady. Her son was a mechanic, which is kind of cool. But he felt the value of having like 70 service records. So I think it was pretty cool. Highest mileage car I ever sold. And uh, kind of proud of it because I think it takes a special kind of person to sell a car like that. Alright, now. Oh. He's got a T5 Turbo Dominic. No, he doesn't. T5 is not a Turbo on that one actually is a Garrett 16T. And I would say it's very quick. Comparable. It's actually a Turbo I had on my last wheel wire. That's what I installed on it. And all wheel drive, it is not. The T5 model are all self drive. Freaking snowing outside. Just cooked back 2002 Audi TT ALMS on trade. The American Le Mans Racing Edition is one of 500 ever made in that color combination. We have another color combination that's red on the outside with a gray, I believe, interior. And this is the gray with the red interior. So. Real excited about it. That coincidentally was a car that how I acquired my Mercedes. 
gentleman took it on trade. And I bought it immediately as soon as he traded it in because I knew I wanted it. 